Whoa! Look what is suddenly going into effect tonight, Trump's not messing around anymore millions of liberals are across the country are about to feel the full wrath of our president tonight who is officially fed up with what's been happening in America and isn't going to take it anymore. Better than this surprise move that's going into effect tonight, there's absolutely nothing his detractors can do about it now, but we'll probably silently thank him for later. Even still, the left is a volatile bunch and this sudden decision is surely to spark to protesting in the least or perhaps a full-on riot in the streets, depending on how furious these people and the Muslims they insist on protecting get. The left has tried their hardest to derail President Trump from everything he does on his path to make America great again. They're used to a pushover president who would cave to their every complaint and cater to those in the country who don't belong here and hope to harm our people and way of life. Those days are over and a powerhouse is back in the White House with some true American help from our Constitution honoring Supreme Court. When it was Obama signing executive orders in the middle of the night when nobody was looking at his secret destruction, liberals praised him for his leadership. Now that Trump's pen is taking action, the left is in complete meltdown, revolting against every decision he puts in place but at the end of the day, he's still the one in charge. His travel ban isn't up for debate any longer or blocking by liberal judges the left has in their pockets. This important safety measure goes into full effect Thursday night, along with some extra details liberals and Muslims probably won't appreciate too much. Fox News reports, Trump's tweets dominate White House press briefing with President Donald Trump's travel ban set to go into effect Thursday evening. There's still some confusion about who exactly is barred from coming to the U.S. The Supreme Court on Monday partially restored Trump's executive order, widely seen as a Muslim ban, and the administration set new criteria on Wednesday for visa applicants and refugees. The new restrictions, which were sent to U.S. consulates and embassies Wednesday night, will go into effect at 8 p.m. ET Thursday. People from six Muslim-majority nations from entering the country. Those countries are, Iran, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, and Yemen. New guidelines stipulate that visa applicants from those six nations must be able to prove a bona fide relationship in the U.S. If an applicant cannot prove that relationship, then they will be barred from the U.S. for 90 days. The only exception to this court-enforced travel ban applies to those who had already secured visas and will be allowed to enter the U.S. Those entering the U.S. for business purposes students and journalists might also be allowed so long as that they have the proper documentation, a State Department official told Fox News. The revised travel ban, previously and erroneously referred to as a Muslim ban by liberals, cannot be challenged since it's legally enforceable, effectively tying the hands of Muslim sympathizers who would stop at nothing to let the potential terrorists into America. It puts a 90-day travel ban on people coming from Sudan, Syria, Iran, Libya, Somalia, and Yemen. Although the prior order prevented travel from Iraq, this one does not, as well as it not longer gives Christians priority since that was something that Trump had to concede to in order to make this order unchallengeable. Still in effect with this travel ban is Trump's suspension of the entire refugee program for the next 120 days, preventing 50,000 refugees from entering any time in the next four months, according to Jezebel. This will give authorities time to solidify the vetting process which is imperative to our safety. However, refugees accepted into the program prior to June 6 will be allowed to continue on with resettlement. Like every nation, the United States has a right to control who enters our country and to keep out those who would do us harm, Attorney General Jeff Sessions said, according to Fox News. When Trump promised to make America great again, he meant it and no matter how hard they tried, liberals couldn't stop that from happening in this particularly huge move. Banning would-be terrorists is long overdue and it's really hard to argue a solid point as to how stronger vetting processes are a bad thing. This simply allows innocent people in that liberals speak of and weeds out those who potentially want to destroy America and citizens 